Hi everyone, my name is Radha Sharma and I hope you all are really doing good. And uh, I'm an alumni of Dr. Wisix. Currently, I am working at Bangalore with an MNC named as L Brands, and I'm a freelancer artist. So, uh, you know, when I got this call, I was really excited about this entire concept. And more than that, I was happy for getting associated with my college again. So uh, suddenly I just got the uh, flashback of my college and I just realized that the college has given me all the necessary ingredients, whether in terms of personality development or the clarity in terms of, you know, like what you want to do and where do you want to see yourself. As I did MBA in HR and marketing, I, I was just like any other person, okay, I was thinking, okay, down the line, maybe after one year, I'll, I'll just join this company or that company. But, but, but the college faculties has really helped me, like what exactly I wanted. So, uh, you know, I just remember about the painting, like uh, when, uh, before coming to Bangalore, I just like any other person, I used to do the painting as my hobby, you know, just see something, paint it, that's it. But when I uh, shifted to Bangalore, just like everyone, I also started working. And, uh, you know, eventually I realized that painting is not my hobby anymore. It's my passion. Because painting is something which I use to express my feelings, my emotions. And it's a really good stress buster for me. So it also helps me to enhance my creativity because when I'll be sitting with the blank canvas, I'll get a lot of ideas which I want to put it in the canvas. So... The painting really helps me to keep a balanced person, I can say. And uh, trust me, guys, for painting, you really don't need a expertise or anything. You just need practice, your thoughts, the paper, pen, brush, paints, that's it. And on that note, let's start. So let's start our painting today. I'm going to paint the clouds and I'm going to teach how to blend and how to make the clouds. So this will be my painting palette today. These colors, the Persian blue, cobalt blue and titanium white. And I'll be using flat brush number 10 and flat brush number 4. So basically this brush I'll be using to, you know, make my background because the space is more. And this brush I'll be using to make the clouds. Alright, so let's get started. So this is my painting palette where I already took cobalt blue. I think it's blur okay so I took cobalt blue and the titanium white and I'll be mixing a little bit of Persian blue as well because when we are making the sky it should start from dark to light and as you can see the colors the acrylic colors which I'm using is blue stroke but if you're a beginner and you want to start painting and uh, you, you know you don't want to spend much so I would suggest you to go for Camelin so this is the Camelin brand which I have this is really good for the beginners, the set of 12, you can start with it. Alright, so let's begin. So I'll just, uh, you know, put my brush in the water a little bit. I'll add very little water. You need to make sure that while doing the acrylic paintings, you really don't need much water. You know, uh, your brush most of the time has to be dry. Or else the colors won't be that thick. And I'll just mix cobalt blue and Persian blue a little bit and make it a little darker. And I'll just start it. So when you are, you know, covering up the surface, you can do it in any direction because you are just covering it, right? So as you can see, I'm painting it in different directions because I just need to cover the base. Something like this. And I'll add a little bit of water here in my brush. So one thing you need to keep in mind, once you are covering the base, uh, you can, you know, move your brush in different directions like I'm doing it. But when you are doing the blending, then it is very much necessary and you need to keep in mind to move the brush only in one direction. After covering up this area of canvas, I'll show you how do we do the blending. And uh, when we are doing the blending, like most of the time we'll be using white color. So when white color is mixed with any color, that is called as tint. Now you can see that I'm moving my brush only in one direction, that is the right side. This is because I want to blend it. Can you see how it is getting blended here? It has to be only in one direction. So blending has to be done either on the left side or right hand side. As per your choice, as per your convenience, totally your convenience. So let's just quickly finish up our base and then we can start with the clouds. And while blending, you need to keep in mind that you don't have to put more pressure on your brush. It has to be very light. 
you know very light handed or else again the uh, you know brush strokes will come on your canvas which certainly won't look that great see how I'm doing it with very light hands I don't have much space on my table now I think it's fine okay let's take some more color on our brush and do it in okay so I think the blending is done perfectly fine now let's start with the clouds as you can see that I've already made the base so before beginning with the clouds you need to make sure that um, your brush has to be dry first thing second thing is the first layer which we'll be making will be the base okay as you can see here I've made it so I'll show you the moments the circular moment which you need to do while making the clouds it has to go like this you know if you want you can just wet it a little bit if you think it's too dry the brush has to be flexible that's it so as you can see the moments and you can see that the highlights that is the darker area is only in the linings right I mean that's how the clouds are let me just adjust this a little bit yeah so as you can see the moments they has to be circular moments with proper blending like this all right i think we are good to go with it so this is the same process which we need to follow to make the clouds just blend it and blending can be done perfectly with a dry brush And this cloud I'm making from right to left so uh, my directions are from right to left don't change your directions or else the clouds might look a little odd and then just blend it you know while blending you need to make sure that it's not touchy and uh, blending of course will come with practice it just requires a little practice so we'll follow the same procedure and we'll do it for rest of the clouds Uh, one more tip like here I have not drawn the uh, you know before painting the clouds the outline so in the beginning if you want or as per your convenience you can you know draw the outlines of the clouds like where you want the clouds in your painting and you know which part of the canvas you want the clouds so it will be a little easy for you to paint it and move the brush As you can see, the brush movement is always in a circular motion. So we can one just draw a little, uh, the transparent one I can say, with very light hands, something like this. can draw one small one here as you can see that the direction of the clouds I chose is the facing towards the left hand side so I'm not changing the direction of any of the clouds right I'll just give a little bit highlights. So 
So highlights, there is a lining of the clouds. You can even use the round brush for it. I'm a bit comfortable with the fan brush. So I'm using the same brush. But yeah, you can always use the round brush. So round brush you can use as per again the size of the canvas you're working at. So I think six is the perfect size to make the linings. And just light, okay? When you will see the clouds, the darker, uh, the bright, sorry, the bright area you will be seeing only in the linings, right? Not in the inner part. So I just repeat the process for all the clouds which I made. I think it's coming out pretty fine. Remember only the linings, not the inner part. So I think it's looking fine. So here we are done with the clouds. And just a little bit more highlights over here. All right, I think we are good to go and we are done with the clouds. So this is how the final painting will look like. I would love to showcase some of my acrylic work. So this is a uh, basically vector art. And that's the acrylic on canvas, the landscape. This is again more of a color study of the landscape. You can see the clouds, right? They are a little bit yellow in color. So this one is the bird, you can see the detail work. This is another work. So here I've used the wet on wet technique, like a couple of places as you can see. This one I have made recently, this painting I completed recently. So, um, just a second, yeah. So this one I completed recently, the painting. You can see the bright colors, right? So here, the texture I have made using the dry brush, completely dry brush with little bit white color. And can you see the blending here, right? And this one is the last one in the queue. So this I was just experimenting with some of the color combinations and, you know, making the clouds and the waves. Let's have a little closer look. Uh, these are some of my recent acrylic works. And this one is the uh, watercolor work. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. 
and I would love to see your artwork. You can DM me directly to my Instagram or Facebook. The link is in the bio. And guys, don't forget to subscribe this wonderful channel. Once again, thank you so much for joining me today. Till then, keep painting. Take care. Bye.